Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into some high topics. Most of it is going to be through TMZ today. So shout out to TMZ. Let's go. First off, we have to take a moment, right? We've lost a lot of people in the last 72 hours. Kobe Bryant's father has passed away at 69. Um, he recently battled a health issue and he suffered a massive stroke. So our prayers go out to his family, Kobe's family. This is so sad. And I did not realize that Richard Simmons had passed away at 76. He fell in his bathroom and his housekeeper found him. This is what's being reported by TMZ. Oh my goodness. And we lost Shannon Daughtry and she was battling breast cancer. She lost her fight to that. And like I said in my video about her, we grew up with this woman. Beverly Hills 90210. Like she is literally a part of our childhood. And before we even knew what this woman was really talking about, Dr. Ruth was, she is an icon and she has passed away in 96. So prayers to all of their families. These are some great losses. On to more losses. Um, Amber Rose spoke at the RNC last night on night one, right? She said that she would like to thank her father for opening her eyes as to what side to be on. He's uh, former military. And she said that our world has not been the same since Donald Trump. And we had more money and more jobs when he was in office than we do now. Who is listening to her? As um, one of the commentators said on CNN, this girl is here because of black culture. Because if it wasn't for Kanye, we never would have known who she is at all. So this is what's representing the RNC. And I don't know who put out this information about him performing at the RNC. But I think 50 Cent, after he posted that picture of, that picture of Trump on his body and he was uh, performing Many Men, um, I think he saw the light. But I really and truly hope that that wasn't ever really a thing. But it's a no-go for the RNC for 50 cents. That's good. Good job. Y'all, Pepper was put off of Southwest Airlines from Vegas to Nashville, right? This is uh, a trip that she's taken often. She had a car accident and she had a brace on her foot. And she got two seats. She bought two seats. Um, but in this particular situation... She bought two seats for $2,500, and the flight attendant was like, um, you can't have the seat because I don't see your brace, but she had something on her foot. So then there was a person that needed the seat and got the seat because he said he was going to a funeral. She asked the man to swear that he was going to a funeral. He didn't do it. She took her phone out and started recording, and they put her off of the plane. Because they said that it was very uncomfortable with her doing that. Now, she got her money back for the flight. But she didn't get her money back for the car she had when she got to her meeting. Or it was something else. So, it was like she was out about $800 or something like that. But they put her off the plane. And she is seeking legal um, help. Because she wants to sue the airlines. That is wild. Here it is here. She called her assistant. I guess they told her to go ahead and record it. She was removed for no reason. When she got off the plane, she said she was removed because she was recording and people didn't sit, feel safe flying with her. This is crazy. So y'all, yesterday, you know, I did a, like a little review of the upcoming season of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. And I played you that little bitty clip in there where Erica said that she was pregnant. Child, not only is Diamond from crime mob newly engaged but she is newly pregnant going down the baby aisle picking up pampers and baby clothes she looks so pretty though she looks so pretty this video is on official bck go ahead and look at it. it's so cute this is coming from the source on instagram pop smokes gravesite vandalized and casket dragged out like we don't know why they would do that like Pop Smoke has been gone for a minute. Like, what would be the reason to do that? 
The man can't even rest in peace. I think this is so disrespectful. Skip Bayless has learned that um, the black magic has left the building and so has his show Undisputed. The ratings have failed since uh, Shannon Sharp has left and now he's feeling it, right? Even though I feel like Shannon is deplorable, I am glad he left because Skip was really rude and disrespectful, pointing at him, screaming at him, calling him boy, and now look at him at his own cost. This is a big alleged, <laughs> but I am honestly shocked that we're seven months into this new year and we're just not hearing about unwanted claims from Herb Gotti. This woman is claiming that it dates back to 2020 to 2022 and she had to be committed to a psych ward. I am really shocked that we're just not hearing about this. And allegedly, Whatever she said he did, he did it. So this is Trump's vice president he's running with, J.D. Vance. Um, I don't know why he picked him. Maybe because he's younger. But if you would just do a little work and listen to what J.D. Vance has actually said about Trump, you'd be very surprised. Because he's said many times, first of all, he didn't even vote for Trump. He's on video saying that. And he said that Trump was not fit to be a president. He said a lot of things about Trump. So, you know, now, of course, he's backpedaling, you know, popping. But this is shocking. But, you know, they do things that we never understand. They stick together when they need to, child. I'm working on call to action for this coming up Sunday. So um, y'all be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm hoping we'll have a special guest, I think, and I will let you know coming closer as I get it um, secured. But let this photo sink in. This is daunting, right? Extremely daunting. Oh my God, that's scary. Tomorrow is Wednesday and that is live Hot Topics. Yes, we're back. So I will see you tomorrow on Millie Chan TV on YouTube at 11 o'clock Central, a.m. And we still have a lot to talk about. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.